What is going on, fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here, and today we are going down the rabbit hole of mysteries in Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. We just recently hit 300,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for all the continuous support. It's been mind-boggling how many of you guys I love Red Dead Redemption 2 as much as I do. And let's waste no more time, and let's talk about this whole scenario now many of us know thomas downs now this is the individual in question for causing arthur morgan's sickness of tuberculosis now i know that many of you guys have finished red dead redemption 2 and if you have not to this point listen the game's been out forever now hurry up and finish it it's so freaking good so thomas downs is an individual that we see throughout chapter two and of course throughout your playthrough with his family the downs family now, what's interesting is that, as you guys can see, your first interaction with him is in Valentine. Now, this Thomas Downs Valentine bar saloon situation that you see, he is the one that stops the fight. Thomas Downs is the one that breaks up the fight in Valentine from you beating Tommy in the bar to pretty much death. Now, that is your first encounter with Thomas Downs, but it doesn't stop there because later on you run into Thomas Downs handing out charity uh, pamphlets to people of Valentine. Now, this can be found um, in the beginning of chapter two, and it's really interesting because Thomas Downs, as he's handing out these papers, well, guys, just just listen to this real quick, and you can just tell. Just, here you go. <coughs> Trouble. Now, as you guys can see, like, I, it's a sickness, dudes. And whenever someone's sick in real life, I, I feel like I'm going to die now because I'm like, oh, this guy, oh, I don't want, like, I was just recently sick, like, really bad this past week. And I had this cold a week and a half, and every single day it got worse and worse and worse. And lately I've been getting better, which is great. But, like, dudes, sickness is no joke. And especially back then, dudes, oh, it was like a whole nother breed of sickness. Now, Thomas Downs is, is a whole other case because he has an extreme sickness. He had tuberculosis. Now, what's crazy about this is that he's passing out these pamphlets that he's coughing on, literally spreading all these freaking germs to everyone in the city. This dude is out here getting everyone sick. Now, this is the first of many encounters you have with Thomas Downs. Now, what's crazy is that this dude is very sick and he's passing out all these pamphlets and you can see on the pamphlets, they're all types of dirty. They got like stains on them. Is that blood? Like, is he like passing around this, this contagious disease to everyone that takes the pamphlet? And it's very much so possible. So Thomas Downs out here, you know, trying to do his charity work, doing all these great things for Valentine. In, in reality, he's actually spreading a sickness to everyone in Valentine. Now, this is where it gets really crazy. A user by the name of Yurik12345 on Red Dead Mysteries uh, posted a man-made mutant creator. Now, if you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know we checked out the man-made creation here on the channel. And let me tell you, it's freaking weird. Like, the fact that somebody went out of their way to make this human-made creation mutant is very strange now what's even weirder is that this creation we never really know who created it we don't really get like a look inside like who was the person behind it until recently now this individual came out and said that they have really looked into this and to my surprise dudes there is inside one of the drawers of this house the same charity handbills that Thomas Downs was giving out in Valentine. Now, I don't know if this is a uh, a conspiracy, if we're connecting some serious dots here, or this is a massive stretch, but it is very possible that Thomas Downs was the weird, crazy dude behind the man-made creations. Now, before we go super deep into this, let me warn you. This is freaking weird, okay? <laughs> the fact that this Thomas Downs guy, we've seen him as a family man, has a wife, has a kid, and has TB, was all always very like, oh, this sucks. And it sucked even more when Arthur had to go collect the debt from this individual. 
and he ended up coughing in Arthur's face, which ended up getting Arthur TB, which then, well, you know how the rest of the story goes. Now, what I want to find out with you guys, according to this Redditor, he is saying that it is possible that the man-made mutant lab contains some tuberculosis in the lab. Now, the reason why is because there are different types of tuberculosis, including bovine tuberculosis. Now, this is where we get really deep into the rabbit hole and oh my God, I'm just like, ah! -ha! So if Thomas Downs is the individual behind the man-made creation that we have seen in this house, that for a long time we had no idea who was behind it, then it is very possible that he is the one that gave that, that created this mutant because we have found the handbills and the pamphlets inside of this home. Now, we need to discuss this a little further because it is possible that the person that created this man-made mutation simply had visited Thomas Downs in Valentine and took some pamphlets back home with him to his lab and left them there. But it is also possible that this lab itself is in is owned by Thomas Downs. Now, Thomas Downs is a little bit of a weirdo. He, I got to say, he's not the brightest person in, you know, he's not the brightest crayon in the coloring box, but he definitely is a little weird. Now, his charitable organization is called the Charitable Organization of New Hanover. It's a new philanthrop philanthropic organization uh, working for the, I can't even read it because it's so small on my screen, but they're pretty much funding today to help the poor. Um, they, they're helping those in need. They're also facilitating um, health problems and habits among the poor. Also, uh, they're constructing a series of missions and orphanages and also precluding hardships amongst various schools and educational resources and they're contributing and they want you to contribute as little as a penny and any amount you can helps. Now, what's weird is that he's doing all this for charity, right? Knowing that he's sick. On top of that, I don't know just yet, but he has also recently just taken out a loan. Now, you run into Thomas Downs when you go after him for the money that he's that he owes um, the, the Vanderling gang in theory. Now, what's really strange is if he's really collecting this money for the people, right? He's trying to do this great deed. He's trying to give back, trying to do what he can to be a noble person. Um, but he has all these other financial issues himself. And that's what throws me off. In theory, could he have been doing this charity work to fund his crazy uh, man-made mutant things? Like, could he have been some kind of evil scientist? And the answer is yes, but there could also be an underlying no, because this is really like weird. Like, first of all, he is like trying to do charity, trying to help people, but then like he's sick and he's knowingly passing on the sickness to other people through this handbill that he's giving out in the city. Also is a man-made mutant creator because at the time of you seeing the uh, him doing the charity, he's already sick. So he has been sick for quite some time by the time Arthur runs into him. On top of that, when you first run into him with Tommy, I think he's also sick there. Um, which I'm not sure about, but we can we can check. We can we can look. We'll look through it. And I I think at the end of the day, it's a little strange to me that this guy is the creator of the Mad Men Mutant and also sick and also does this charity work and all these things. So I think what the Reddit post says is really awesome. I think Yurik at the end, a my minimalist theory, the creator of the Mad Men Mutant, if not Thomas Downs was another member of the society and friends or acquaintances with Thomas. And I can agree with that. I think that um, there is no way that this person, Thomas Downs, can be a person of all these hats. Could he wear all these hats? Family man, charitable organization, uh, I guess advocate, creepy scientist, man-made mutant man and also a sickness born evil man that is like purposely getting other people sick it just 
all of it is really, really hard to be like, hey, this is all this one guy. But it is possible Thomas Downs somehow is acquaintances or knew the person with the man-made uh, creator. And maybe the man-made creator, the person that honestly started the man-made creation is the one that got Thomas Downs sick. So if we can find out who got Thomas Downs sick before uh, the man-made creator, so who the man-made creator was, we can maybe figure out that's how he got it. Because to say that Thomas Downs is the one that created the man-made mutant is a little of a stretch. But I think somehow they are all correlated and they all are a part of this one weird thing. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like. My name is Garrett, but I'm known as Outlaw Gary. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support, all the constant feedback on all the videos. And I'll see you guys later on today with a brand new video. Bye, guys.